Do you want to know how to make your AVI quest compatible? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it in just about 5 minutes. Also, keep in mind, I'm a bit sick, so just don't mind my voice. So the first thing you want to do is open VRC Creator Companion. Then find the AVI you want to upload and click on the three dots. And then hit Open Project Folder. Right here, you're gonna go one folder back and duplicate the highlighted folder. When it's done, you can just rename it to something like, um, I don't know, Rindo YouTube underscore Quest. So now you open the new folder, go in it and copy the path. Then go back into VRC Creator Companion, click on this arrow and add existing project and just paste in the new path. Like this, press enter and select folder. Like this. It should show up right here and now you can open it. So now it should look something like this. If you don't see VRC SDK, you just click on this right here and click on show control panel. Uh, this should show up then. Uh, you might need to log in again, just like me right now. Click on Builder and select this, selected platform, and change it to Android. Click Confirm and you might need to wait. So when it's done, you will see a lot of those red messages. If you see something that says Auto Fix, just click on it, just like here. So now you can see this says that we have unsupported shaders. Uh, you can easily fix it by just click on the inspector and then opening your avatar right here. Click on body, for example, and those are the materials used on this part of the body. You can see that the shader is HOD Rendo tier. What you want to do is click on this and type in Mad Cap Lit. So it's going to say VRChat Mobile Mad Cap Lit. And do this for every single material you have, like this. And then you click on the next part, Rendo underscore body, and you do the same thing. And then just repeat it with everything you have on the AVI. So when you're done, you might notice that your AVI is looking a bit different. Uh, we can make it look better by just using a matcap that I made myself. Um, I'm going to link it in the description. So the matcap looks like this. Just drag and drop it into the project. So now you just click on body again and click, for example, on Rindo face. Open it and drag and drop this matcap into this spot right here. And now you can see you have like this, this shadow, which looks good in my opinion, but if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. So now I'm just going to add it to everything I have. And now the AVI should look something like this. So now if we go back to VRChat SDK, what we see is that it says we have too many fizz bones right here. And you should only have eight fizz bones on your AVI if you want to upload it on the quest. You don't have to remove the fizz bones from your PC AVI. You only got to remove it on this on this like quest version. So how to remove it? Just click on inspector and open the armature, the hips, the spine, the chest, the neck, the head and maybe the, the hair base, I don't know, you, you might already see the hair. I have to click on this. And now if I click on this thing, you see on the right, we have VRC Fizzbone script. So you are you gotta remove every single script until you only have eight left. So for example, I have Fizzbones on the butt left, but right, and I don't need this. You don't need this one on the quest version, so you can just remove it like this. Same with the breast one, you don't need the Fizzbones on the breast on the quest, you know? Right click this, and remove component like this. So for the hair, you might need to decide for yourself. So I always just remove everything except like the ears or like the tail, but this is up to you. So I just, I'm just gonna remove everything because it's uh, faster. If you don't know where the fist bones are, you can just click on your AVI. You can see the fist bones when it shows something like this, you know, like I know those blue uh, thingies going down right here right here, you know, but you might, you can also just like click on the armature and just click on the arrow down button and just search. For example, right here, I see this. So just click on this, the skirt, select everything and remove component. We have some more here, just open it and select everything and remove the fist bones. And now we should be done. So if I select everything, I won't see any fizz bones except the ones that I left. For example, the one on the ears. Wait, there you go, you can see it. And now if we go back to the VRChat SDK, 
it shouldn't say that we have too many fizz bones. So it still says we have eight fizz bones, but this is just red. It doesn't have like this, uh, I don't know what this is called, but it doesn't have this uh, symbol in it and that's okay. So now you should be mostly done. So if you notice that you have to type in a new name, a new description and put on a new image, uh, all you got to do is click on content manager, find the AVI you already uploaded. For example, this one, click on copy ID, go to the inspector, click on your AVI and right here on pipeline manager, find blueprint ID and paste in what you just copied and click on attach like this. Then go back to VRChat SDK, click on Builder and just click this button and build and publish. If it says that your AVI size is too big, uh, you can just click on, for example, body, open one of the materials like Rindo underscore face and click on the top material, click on it again down here and just reduce uh, the max size. For example, I'm gonna put this to 1000, click apply. And now you can see down here, it is 0.6 MB big. But if I put it back to like 4K, you can see it's uh, 9.5 MB big. So this is how you can reduce the size. Just do it with, with everything and then try again. So yeah, this is how you make your avatar quest compatible. If you have a question, just leave a comment or join the Discord. Anyways, like and subscribe and bye.